Hey guys, We've got a quiet day today, there's no bikes in, so doing a bit of marketing, but apart from that, I'm quite free. Anyway, I got an idea. So, obviously at the moment we've got different wheel sizes, 650B, 29er, and a lot of the downhill racers and enduro riders now are riding a 29 front, 650B back. And I thought to myself, well I've got a 29er full sus, and I've got a 650B plus hardtail. So, I'm going to try... I'm at over Clint tomorrow. I'm going to try swapping my fork and wheel on the front of this, the the cube here, which is my 29 race bike. I'm going to put that on the front of my 650B hardtail, and then I'm going to take it to Clint and have a good raz, and we'll see how it, how it works. If it's enjoyable, and if it is, I might actually think about making my hardtail a permanent mullet. Um, but well, let's see how it goes. So let's get stripping and let's get rearranging and let's get well, let's see how it works. Again, this is the NX Centric Chromo with the Fox Fork 29er wheel, 650B rear. So let's check this out in Clint and see how it goes, shall we? So Ben Lara, I've got a big wheel on the front. Oh. <laughs> fly. Right. Apart from swallowing a fly, let's go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Bloody hell. I lost my brake. <sighs> nope. I'm not liking this setup. My back brake's gone again, so I've got to get a new rotor. Mountain bikes are just an endless pit of expense. My bottom bracket's too high. I've got no manoeuvrability. I've got a Fox 36 on here, which is higher anyway to 29er fork. Uh, I measured it yesterday. The fork itself is about 15mm higher. I've got 30mm extra on diameter of the tyre, but I've got less width, so it gives me less grip. Uh, I may have slackened the head angle out a little bit, but everything else, to be honest, so far is a negative. I'd right, see if I can redeem the mullet. So a 29er wheel on my Cube Stereo 150 feels great because the bike's quite short and quite nimble. As we're putting the 29er wheel on the actual NS uh, Eccentric Chromo, the bike's really long, so it's a bit awkward to turn. <laughs> that bit is so slow compared to what it used to be now. Now you can't pop that roof. So I fell off my bike again, Ben La. That's the fourth time in as many rides. Now I've got a theory, Gadwar. Go on. I reckon you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> you make the good videos. No, no, it's not like my subs have gone up quickly all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not at all. But what I'm thinking... Fresh. Yeah. What I'm thinking, my little pinky finger now is really hurting. I'm going to try my muscle balm on it. Oh, that's a good idea. My CBD muscle balm. Right, here he is. Anubis with a new hat. I'm not impressed so far, mate, because it tried to kill me. So, the head of Napoleon Dynamite? Yeah. On a panther? Uh, a jackal, I think. A jackal. A jackal. A jackal. Yeah. I think Anubis is a jackal. Comment down below. I personally like the aesthetic. Yeah. I like the, 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 the touch of the orange with the black. I know you're not keen, but you'd rather have the. Uh, I like the stealth. Uh, I do like the stealth. But. Uh, so I don't know if, because it's 160 fork, it's 20 more than the original fork that's on it, it's raised that bottom bracket quite high, made it less manoeuvrable, plus the fact I've got a dodgy brake at the moment, so my back, my back pads are glazed and my rotor's a bit dodgy. I was going to say that, because let's go back to the, the bottom bracket thing in a minute, but is it fair to be judging that while you effectively almost without a back brake. Probably not, but what we're going to do, we're going to try it without any braking. Because <laughs> doing a corner, well, everyone knows, you, you, brake, you, you brake with your front brake while you're doing a corner, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's compare the bottom bracket with this one. So is it, yours is a bit higher, yeah. but what you've got to think of is you've got squish. I've got squish as soon as I'm on the bike. It'll, it, it goes down, it'll be as well, I haven't. Um, and my bike is designed, that bike is designed to be long, slack and low. Yeah. So it's got a low bottom bracket. So I've changed the centre of gravity completely. Plus uh, these additional aspect that I'm by far the most skillful rider. Obviously. Okay, climbing with a mullet. This is one of the steeper climbs in Flint. Although Ben makes it look like nothing. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I put a, a comment out on all the Facebook pages asking if people have mulleted the hard tire. Yeah. I've had a few comments. One person said it was a absolute drag on the hills. I haven't found that. Yeah. We've been up the steepest hill in Flint. Did you understand the concept? Oh, absolutely. You're higher at the front, yeah. So you, I almost expected the wheel to pop up, but we just didn't test it on the first downhill section. I'm taking it easy. I've actually hurt my finger quite a bit. So at this point, my finger was absolutely pounding. Every single bump, every single rock, or anything that I went over was exaggerating the pain. So I believe the last time you fell off, Ben, was a couple of days ago on this very trail. On this very trail. On this very trail. I gotta face my demons, Gaslock. You have, mate. All right, Mullet set up. Every bump hurts my finger, which is not good. I was going for it. And we've got a nasty loop right there, and to the left. Ben's leaving me. This is quite a nasty bit. So it jumps you into very mulchy. Caught up with Ben a little bit. Got to get right into these berms. Tight, very tight. We've got some bad roots here. We better fell over here. I'm not popping them. I've got no strength in my left hand. I hope I haven't broken anything. Oh, Ben's a good 15 seconds ahead of me at this point. Man, oh man, that was a disastrous ride. So, here we have it. The crash itself was actually down to my back brake failing. It's been a bit dodgy the last couple of weeks. I think uh, the pads are glazed over, the rotor needs cleaning. Uh, so there's factors there. So as I was coming into that loose corner, I tried to get my back brake on just to get that back end out. It didn't work. Obviously it meant me hitting my front brake, uh, but my front brake is very, very sharp. Um, and it kind of locked up on a sandy bit and I went straight over right onto the root. Hit my finger on a tree. There's no bruising yet, but it hurts like hell. But I didn't find any disadvantages uphill. And downhill, it's the same kind of argument, you know, 29 and 650B. For the likes of Clent Trails, it's a lot easier to actually have a smaller wheel. It's more nimble especially around the, the lockdown COVID-19 track. It's more nimble, you can get around a lot quicker. So a 29er wheel ain't gonna help. Downhill sections, I can see the advantage. So obviously you've got that 29er rollover ability. But saying that, I mean, look at the size of the tires on the 650. There's like 30 mil overall difference in, in height, but you can lower the pressures a lot more and it pops over the roots and you know it, it's not going to suit my needs and mullet bike isn't going to suit my needs i can see if you live on the uh 
the North Shore, you know, in British Columbia somewhere, and it's a lot of downhills and routes and stuff like that, it's going to benefit you. But it's not going to benefit where I live. We, and my main trails are Clent Hills, and if I'm going to a bike park or anywhere steep, I'm going to take the full rig. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to take the sled, and I? I'm going to take that, 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 that big travel 29er. Uh, not my hardtail. Um, so that's the moral of the story. Again, just like the 650B 29er kind of situation that that you got going on, some places benefit so the tyres more. The same applies for mullet bikes. I'm not doing downhill racing, so it isn't going to benefit me. Um, so I'm going to stick to the way. I'm going to put it all back to the way it should be, and be happy with the bikes that I've got rather than swap and change. But it was an interesting experience. Um, but I don't recommend it personally. But if you want to try it, try it, it might suit you. If you like the video, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.